All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Vashem, Yahweh Shai, Vashem, and Kakodash. I want to say and give double honors to the apostles and the bishops, the elders, the great millstone, for teaching us the truth and sincerity and for ruling well. Salutations to the elect, Lord willing, with some of those men and women, right? All you believers, right? My name is uh, Gabar Yahweh, GMS Hawaii. I just want to do a quick lesson. It's like a review on this, a spiritual review on this uh, show that's on Netflix called Supercell. And it's a, it's a great movie. It's a beautiful movie too, because in the, in, uh, spoiler alert, for bros that haven't seen it yet, it's definitely a must see. It's six episodes. Um, it's been out for a little bit, but it's about six episodes. And uh, it's really, really good. You know, it, it shows you that basically Jake's got the power, not these Edomites. I haven't seen an Edomite in the show with this kind of spiritual power, all right? And like Supercell is a play on a, a disease called sickle cell, which affects the blood. And you know, and then not everybody that has the trait gets it. Uh, some people, it skip generations, but it's something that affects Israelites, mainly Israelites, you know? And uh, this is a real great show. And I, I finished watching it yesterday and I was extremely moved in the spirit as I watched the show. You know, and the show, you know, it always, just like I had compared it to that movie Black Panther 2, where at the end of Black Panther 2, the, the real enemy was Esau in these European nations, right? And when you watch this show, you're going to realize that Esau Edom is the real enemy, you know, but he got people that side with them of our nation. Just like in the ancient world, you had Israelites that followed Esau you know, to do wickedness. You know, to support his um, his uh, his uh, enterprise. Okay, so this is Maccabees, First Maccabees, chapter one, and I'll go straight to the point. It says, and after his death, that his death is the death of Alexander the Great. They all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons after them. Many years of evil were multiplied in the earth, and it's just talking about Alexander the Great's four generals. Points in ten. And there came out of uh, there came out of and there came out of them a wicked root, Antiochus, surnamed Epiphanes, son of Antiochus the king, who had been hostage at Rome, and he reigned in the hundred and thirtieth seventh year of the kingdom of the Greeks. It says, in those days went there out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us, for since we departed from them, we've had much sorrow, right? Because when we depart from Esau Edom, he puts hell on us. If we support his enterprise, he's with it. And it shows you that in this show, you know? But it also shows you too, when you don't serve Esau's enterprise, how he turns his back on you. Because these Edomites and these other nations, they don't have no natural love or affection for the children of Israel. They don't have no real connection to us. So they, they just look at us as pawns. But the Lord got his elect scattered amongst this earth that he's going to endow with powers to fight against his men, right? Right? It says, um, for since we departed from them, we've had much sorrow, right? When we when we go back to our power, that's when these heathens, they get angry and they, they want to rebel against us, right? And in this show, in this show, it's so spiritual because only Jake's got uh, spiritual power in this show, you know? Only Jake's. And then... Even if there's one Jake, his dad is a so-called black man, but his mom is a so-called white man. But he inherited the trait from his father, which gave him superpowers. You know, showing you that it's about the father. It ain't about the mother. It's about the father. Now, obviously, sickle cell could go from mother to father, father and mother, or not, from either or. But it's mainly the father, right? And you want to see that in this show. You know, and uh, so I just want to do a quick review because it definitely made my spirit that much more brightened because this fight that we are in is going to stop being carnal and it's going to really kick up into a spiritual. But we are in a spiritual battle. This is a spiritual battle, first and foremost, before it's a carnal battle. Our enemies are going to come with carnality. But our power, how about Shannon Shai, is, is, is moving in the spirit. And soon he's going to endow his elect men with powers like this and we're not just going to have one power we ain't going to just have two powers we're going to have all the power 
Okay. Why? Because the Lord said we're gods, man. Right? This is the book of Psalms 82 and 6. I have said ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High. When you uh, look this up in it, uh, I just want to read it right here. In the NIV, it says, I have said you are gods. You are all sons of the Most High. Right? And that's not talking about um, these other nations. It's talking about the Israelites. And obviously, we're uh, scattered amongst all the nations of Israel. Us, like we're the, the, the children of Israel or the sons of Israel and daughters, we're scattered amongst the nations of Israel. Nations, Salakia, these heathen nations, man. We're scattered, so you got you got Israelites that look like the heathen, but they're Israelites nonetheless, right? And the uh, and the prototypical the, the or the phenotypical type Israelite is that of the so called Negro, Latino, Native American man, all right? We we, all of us collectively, are the children or the sons of the power, the sons of Israel, all right? So the scripture says that what? You are all, I have said you are all gods, and all of you are the sons, sons it says children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes, right? And why did that happen? Because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashir and Bashai. And something else I noticed in these shows, whenever they give Jake power, Esau always find a way to inhibit their powers or try to reduce it or try to make it sound like Jake just went out, went out of power. And I know like in the show, a lot of these people after they you know, use their powers or whatever, um, they get sleepy. That's because of the, uh, the, you know, that, that's what happens with people with sickness. You know, they get really, they always like tired and stuff like that, you know. But the point of the matter is that when the Lord raises us up and gives us his power, it's going to be unlimited. All right. And what can you what you think that these nations gonna have the authority over us to entice our people to follow them and be ruled over by them when we got this kind of power? No. We're gonna take the earth, man. Right? Because the Lord said that we are the battle axe and weapons of his warfare. All right. This is um uh Jeremiah 51 and 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. So the Yahweh Bashim al is going to use us to break these nations. Yahweh Bashim al is going to use us to break these kingdoms. And this is what Esau fears. He can get the weak of our people, meaning the two-thirds. He can get the faithless of our people, which is all two-thirds. You know, he can get people from them, right, to, to follow his, his schemes. But that's not going uh, that's not going to alleviate or eliminate the elect, right? That's not going to stop prophecy because this is the prophecy the lord is going to use us just like he used these other nations to uh uh exact vengeance on us he's going to use us to exact vengeance on our enemies which are these nations which are also enemies right right uh slack it <clears throat> right which are also his enemies too slack it. this is uh the book of Micah 5 and 15, I believe. It says, um, yep. The Wadi Habashim Shah. Micah 5 and 15 says, And I will execute vengeance in my anger and fury upon the heathen such as they have not heard. Right? Because when we through the spirit power Yahweh Bashim Shah are in these new body in our new bodies, and even brothers on this side gonna get spiritual powers. And, it, and it's beautiful because it shows you that here in this movie, you had us in our in our flesh, but some people had powers. Not everybody got it, got it, but we have powers even in this flesh, and that's going to astound us. So how much more when we get those new bodies and the Lord turn our spirit up, we're going to have every power known to man, like Apostle Tahar say. It ain't just going to be one person with one power. You know, you in this in this show, most of the characters had one power, maybe like two. You know, or one and a half powers. Now nah, we're gonna have all these powers and then some. And you ain't gonna be able to do nothing against us. And we're gonna exact that vengeance on you such as you've never seen before. Right? And we're gonna enslave the world. And this is what Esau and the nations have been plotting to stop. But the Lord put it on the spirit of certain men. And this show is written by an Israelite man. His name is uh Rat Man. This dude right here. He's an Israelite. The so-called West Africa. And it's beautiful too. Because in the show, 
it's it's uh Israelites from West Africa, mainly those Israelites from West Africa and Caribbean and the UK that dwell in the UK. Right, this this brother right here, he wrote this show. So it's 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 beautiful, man. You know, to see that to see our people, you know, uh are putting together these shows of spiritual power, man. You know, not just the, the thug, the street gangster, the whore, the prostitute, you know, all that black ex black exploitation bullshit that they put on you. No, we can have spiritual powers too. We can have superpowers too. And we the only ones that's gonna happen. The Israelites, man. All right? So the Lord's gonna use us again. The Lord's gonna use us to exact vengeance on these nations. Just like he used these nations to exact vengeance on us. He took these powers away from us, right? He took these things because we had these things in the ancient world, right? This is Isaiah 3 and 1. It says the uh it says the most high will remove the leaders, right? For behold, the Lord, the Lord, Yahweh Bashiach Shah of hosts, doth take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the stay and the staff. The whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water. The mighty man, and this is what I'm going to focus on, because the mighty man is about to return. The mighty men, starting with David's mighty men, are about to return. The mighty men and the man of war, the judge and the prophet and the prudent and the ancient, the captain of 50, the honorable man and the counselor and the cunning artificer and the eloquent orator. So these leaders, these, the Lord took this away from us. So we are in this weakened state right now, right? Our power is Yahweh Bashiach and Shah. All right, it's nothing else, and that's that's where it first starts at. And the Lord's going to re-endow us with that. He took away for a time period. He took His name from us, so we couldn't call Him when we was in that uh, uh, destruction that we were receiving from our enemies for our for our iniquities and our sins that we committed against the Lord. But now we can call on the name. So now we're, we're, we're tapped in, right? The whole full elect, we're tapped in. And the Lord's going to the Lord's gonna raise us up, all right? After I finished watching this movie, I was or the show, after I was watching the show, it made me think of the scripture in the book of Leviticus, right? Chapter 26, okay? <clears throat> Leviticus, Leviticus, chapter 26, I believe it's verse 5. Uh, it's a lot here. It's a lot here. Uh, verse 8, right? So it says right here, I'll start at, uh, cause this is all, this is all a blessing, right? It says, uh, Leviticus 26 and 6, and I will give peace in the land and ye shall lie down and none shall make you afraid. And I will rid evil beasts out of you, out of the land, neither shall the sword go through your land, right? And ye shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall by by you by the sword. And I will and five of you shall chase an hundred. Five of us gonna be able to chase a hundred people. And a hundred of us, and a hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight, and your enemies shall fall before you by the sword, and that sword is a destruction. In, in instrument, and we're not just going to have a sword. We're going to have a physical sword, but we're going to have spiritual powers too. Because at no time you can chase five people with a sword. I mean, five you chase a hundred people with a sword, they just run away. It might happen with a, a weapon if you have like an automatic weapon or some shit like that. People see the gun and they scatter, but we ain't going to need no guns because we're going to be we're going to have that spiritual power, right? And a hundred of us going to chase ten thousand. And put them to flight, and your enemy shall fall before you by the sword, man. All right? Let me see what that word for sword is. In the Hebrew, that word for sword, in the Hebrew is harab, right? It's a beautiful name, too, right? So, brother, harab. It says a sword, knife, tools to cut in stone, a maddox, axes, daggers, swords, knife, man. And trust me, you're going to have to be experienced with the sword. Right, and when we're gonna have that, we're gonna be endowed with that too, right? We're gonna be, we're gonna have the knowledge and know how to do all of these things. And on top of that, we're gonna be gods in the earth, man. Because in reality, these people with these powers, they should have been gods on the earth. They could have ruled the earth. But you had some jakes in the movie, you know, that side away Esau, wicked ass niggas, right? They want to destroy their their people and and with drugs and violence and shit on their own people, right? 
versus turning it on to the nations, man. The ones that truly deserve it. Esau, eat them. Because in the kingdom of heaven, you eat them, it's not going to have no power over us. You ain't going to be able to manipulate us. You ain't even going to be able to deceive us into following you, supporting you. And we got we got this God power. You're not going to have that. They show that in the movies because they got to put Esau in there. Esau always got to slide up in there. Either he's the hero or he's the weak villain that has the power to deceive and manipulate people or to blackmail people into working for him. Take your children, you know, they'll take your wives, your, you know, all of that. But the men of the Lord ain't going to go for that. All right. Well, when we part of the elect, the elect we're not going to go for that, bro. All right. This is the book of, um, uh, sloppy. Second Samuel 23, verse 8, it says, His mighty men, the his is David. These be the names of the mighty men whom David had, the Tachamite that sat in the seat, the chief among the captains. The same was Adino, the Ezanite. He lift up his spear against 800 whom he slew with at one time. Right? So you can't do that in this world. Like, that's, that's superpowers right here, bro. These are <laughs> super cell. This super. Right? Superpower right here, bro. You can't, no man on earth can do that right now. But the men of the Lord are going to be able to do that because the Lord's going to restore us back to this estate and, and, and greater. He slew 800 men by himself at one time. Right? And they don't talk about this, but this is where they get these superhero movies from. This is where they get the inspiration for these comic book characters with these powers. They get them from the Bible. These are the names of David's mightiest warriors. The first was Jehoshaphat, the Hakamite. He was the leader of the three, the three mightiest warriors among David's men. He once used his spear to kill 800 enemy warriors in a single battle. You know what I'm saying? One man used a spear to kill 800 men, and these are warriors, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Warriors in a single battle, right? Come on. This is the power we're about to receive, man. You know? You know, you brothers can read this. I love this chapter. Not this. I call it the superhero chapter, man. And King David himself was the, was the, was the mightiest of them all, man. And the Lord's gonna bring us back to this power. So definitely, this supercell is a must watch for you brothers that are spiritual, which we all should be spiritual, right? For the sincere brothers that are spiritual that understand that, and we we are gonna have this power. This is not beyond our reach, right? We're gonna have this power to do things that. The, the, the human mind can't even comprehend, right? Because these things, these powers don't come from the how about Shem Shah, right? So I just wanted to bring this out and, you know, shoot this to the brothers out there. If you ain't seen Supercell, definitely tap in because it's, it's worth a watch. It's worth a double watch, right? And the MOTB is in there too. The MOTB is definitely in there. There's a there's a scene in there when you see, when you watch one of the episodes, you're going to see it go off and it do your hand. Right? That tracking device. Right? So definitely watch. Watch this movie. Watch this uh, slot. Watch this show. So definitely say Shawama on to the next.